All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Glean Go, and it is super exciting to be here with uh, more than 800 people. But I have a special guest, not a new face to the Robert Show. Tamar, we have spoken earlier, and uh, great things that y'all are doing in the agent space. Uh, but first of all, good to meet you in person, and welcome to the Robert Show again. Thank you so much, and so nice to meet you in person. Awesome, Tamar. Uh, first of all, just for audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at Glean. So I am the president of product and technology at Glean. I've been here a little bit over a year. Awesome. Uh, Tamar, I know you all have made some great announcements this morning. Uh, would you like to tell our audience a little bit about the announcements and why do they matter? Ooh, good question. So yeah, we <laughs> announced a bunch of stuff and forgive me if I leave something out because there were so many announcements. I know, right? <laughs> but we announced our agent platform, which starts with our agent builder. Yep. And so enabling you to build actions in, uh, to build agents in natural language. And also our actions platform is significantly expanded. One of my favorites is LLM choice. So you don't have to get locked into one LLM. You yep. can pick an LLM per step per agent. So you can build an agent and have multiple LLMs at different steps, and in order to facilitate that, we have the Glean Model Hub yep. and the Glean Universal Key. So you don't have to get contracts to all the different LLMs, you can use the Glean Universal Key. Yep. And then there's a whole layer of Glean Protect for security, because that is one of the most important Very aspects. Important. Yeah. Uh, I like how you've kind of, you know, obviously announced a little bit about, you know, the openness that you all have created in the space. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I was also talking to Sunil uh, and, you know, obviously learning more about the governance and the security piece, which is a very important piece for the enterprise leaders out there who are wanting to implement AI. Totally, and I forgot about our MCP server. MCP server. That we announced our MCP yeah. server that you can very easily create an agent and make it available nice. through our MP, M, uh, MCP server, which is super exciting for our openness. That's fantastic. Uh, thanks for that, Tamara. Also, good question for you around agents. Uh, like, AI agents have been the talk of the town. Everyone's talking about it. But when we when it comes to implementation, it still feels early because now enterprise leaders are kind of, you know, trying to understand, okay, this is how it works. I met a lot of enterprise leaders here who are here to learn more about how Glean is kind of changing the game uh, and such great testimonials from the customers who are already using Glean too. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, how you all making it easy for the adoption piece for these enterprise leaders? And why should they trust Glean? Yeah, why should they trust <laughs> Glean? So you're, you're absolutely right that some enterprises are slow to adopt because it's yep. scary. You're going to be putting these agents into production that take action on behalf of employees. Right. Are they secure? What are they doing? Another thing I forgot to mention is observability. Observability, the, true. One of the biggest questions that we get from customers is how do I know that this is actually working? I think that's a big stumbling block. So we mm. have to get we have to get uh, enterprises to trust us on many levels. First, to trust us to give them, uh, to give us their data. Yep. Then to trust that we will safeguard it, and that when you're building agents, that they're going to work as intended, and that we're not, and that against prompt injection. And let's say you built an agent and I use it, and now you go and nefariously change it. Well we have to make sure that that can't hurt me. Exactly. So these are things that we're pro um, protecting with Glean Protect. Nice. So, and you asked before, why does it matter all the things that we launch? It matters because it will enable corporations to use AI more effectively and to increase productivity both on the personal side and the yep. business processes. Okay, that's fantastic uh, and great insights there, Tamara. One more quick question for you is, uh, you know, there's, agents and then there's AI assistants and the automation, AI assistant automation tools. How do you kind of compare both of these uh, when it comes to Glean agents uh, versus say the AI assistant automation tools? So I think the nomenclature is still evolving and yeah, some people yeah. you hear agents all over the place and everybody thinks of something different when they say agent. So I'll tell you how right. we perceive this. Yep. So assistant is I can ask a question and get an answer. Yep. So search is I put in a query and get a list of documents, but an assistant I put it in natural language and I get an answer in natural language. Yep. And then an agent is multiple steps, multiple calls to the LLM, calling tools which could be third party tools or could be internal tools and then taking action. That's what differentiates an agent is you can build automations that take uh, that actually execute actions on your behalf. 
Yeah, I think that is something pretty important as well for those who are, you know, working with agents uh, in the space. And uh, I know for a fact you all, uh, you know, you did show some demos there as well. And I'm kind of, you know, excited to use Glean agents, to be honest, because uh, I was getting on the press day, I was kind of getting an overview on the different activities that uh, everyone can do, each department. Even And for marketing, it could play a very important role. For us in media, where if we are doing this interview and if I can get all the key points out of it and even ask the agent to go out and post, it can be like so easy, right? Yeah, you could have helped prep by say, go look up all the information about tomorrow, all the previous interviews I've had right. with her, what should I ask her and it can come up with something really compelling. Yeah. Your job I, became a lot easier. Uh, you're right, <laughs> you're so right about it. Uh, I, I, I could have asked what, what difficult questions I can ask Tamar, <laughs> but then I know there's no difficult question. Whenever I do this, these interviews with you, I always love asking you, we, I try to ask difficult questions, but then you always have like good answers. So well, thank you, I'm, I appreciate that. I'm I'm excited always to chat with you. But um, uh, on on a different note, I'm kind of also curious to learn a little bit about the real use cases. We saw a lot of customers, your uh, a lot of partners, like uh, you know, obviously the CEO of Palo Alto, Nikesh was here, and uh, the great partnership that you all have. Yep. And Booking.com, I was talking to the team, uh, yeah. the Time uh, magazine. Yeah. So that's fantastic. So kind of curious to know a little bit about the use cases too. Yeah. And what's what's your favorite as well out of Ooh, the... My favorite. Uh, so our customers love us because we add value. Yeah. We're easy to use and the value is immediate and quick. Yep. You get up and running really quickly, as you heard in the video for those who watched it. That was from time of how yep. quickly we got up and running. And then we immediately add value because you're like, oh, I don't remember what when I last met with Ravi and what we talked about. So it's very easy to get that immediate value and then you build from there. Yep. So we're seeing people, customers build all kinds of agents, whether it's to get research insights or help with the sale, close the sales cycle or do yep. uh, PR reviews for engineers. What is my favorite? Well, my favorite are things that make my job easier. Right. So I have an agent that it's a feature update agent where I can put in the name of a feature and it looks at not only the JIRA ticket, but any documents that were written about the feature, but any Slack conversations. Let's say an engineer wrote on Slack, oh no, there's a bug, this might impact the launch date. I will get that. So I don't nice. get just the official answer. And then I can see, well, are we at risk for mm. the launch? So that's probably my favorite from my personal awesome. use. Yeah, I think agents, uh, you know, everyone has that sort of myth as well where, oh, what what is the agent of use to me? Like I used to think the same, but in the last one and a half year, and obviously I've been following Glean closely as well yeah. and learning more about you know announcements that you all make, and I've kind of started realizing that I should auto automate a lot of things. I should have an agent yes. to be doing a lot of things that I've been doing, the mundane tasks that I've been doing. Uh, so I'm I'm excited about that as well. Uh, one more quick thing around you know the scaling of agents across yeah. enterprises. Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, how does that happen? And uh, how do you kind of keep up with so much data as well? I think that's one of the beauties of AI is it makes it much easier to deal with large amounts of data. Pre-AI, everyone was like, I need to clean my data. I can't do anything with it. But now with tools like Glean, you don't have to go and clean all your data because Glean makes sense of it. Right. So we can understand through our ranking algorithms which data is most important for you. Yep. So the more data, the more accurate an answer and the better for us. It's not scary, it's actually positive. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, really the best way to look at it and uh, best way to use AI as well and think that this is, a, a, you know, agents are actually doing our work, yeah. so it's fantastic. Uh, a little about the future as well. I'm mm -hmm. kind of curious to know, uh, what do you think about uh, the agentic future, uh, the work uh, that we'll be doing say in the next six to 12 months, I wouldn't even say a year, <laughs> to be honest, because I know things kind of move very quickly in the AI space, but uh, agents are kind of you know doing a lot of work for us. So how do you see the future? If you're talking six to 12 months, 
I think the technology that we have today can already do so much more than we're using it for. Nice. LLMs are going to continue to progress. Hmm. They're getting better at a faster rate, but even if you kept it where it is today, there's so much that people are not taking advantage of. I want to give you an example. Yeah, please. So we hired a uh, product manager to lead our developer APIs. He joined a couple weeks ago. I had my first one-on-one -on -one with him last week, and he said, I built an agent that reviewed all the gong calls for the last year and said, what are the features that people are requesting for APIs and the issues they have, um, itemize them for me, list them if oh, more than one person cited them, and who is the person at Glean who knows the most about this customer. He said, a couple, took a couple minutes to run, at any other company it would have taken him quarters, quarters. So to do. True. So this is a great example wow. of things that people aren't doing today that the technology can do. So think about all, either the grunt work or the manual work Very or the important. toil that you do. All of that is going to be automated so you can focus on the strategic building relationships. So I think that's really interesting and our jobs are going to change. I love it, uh, the model, this is exactly why we all should be using agents yes. and uh, <laughs> how we can make our work easier but be more productive at what we are doing. Uh, one last question for our audience uh, yes. is if they want to reach out to you, follow you, where can they do that and also be updated with all the product announcements that you all come up with because I know you all, uh, it's like a non-stop thing that yeah. you all kind of keep updating, keep adding new features as well, where can they do that? So best is LinkedIn, okay. either Tamar Yoshu at LinkedIn or follow Glean on LinkedIn. We post all of our updates. Fantastic. Tamar, always such a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks for doing this and have a fantastic Glean Go. Thank you. We can't wait for 2026 Glean Go already. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Such Bye. a pleasure. Thank you everyone for joining us today.